In order to teach and manage a class full of students effectively, teachers must show that they are in charge of their classroom. On the other hand, they also need to establish and maintain a positive relationship with every student. It can be a challenge to find the balance between conveying authority and building rapport. In the long run, though, the teacher sets the tone in the classroom and establishes a model of self-regulation for their students. This is accomplished through thoughtful word choice, tone of voice, and body language. Word choice. The words you use should be clear and purposeful so that students understand your message. When giving praise or correction, use specifics more than general adjectives such as great or incomplete. For example, you could say, I like the way you remembered to capitalize all the proper nouns in this essay. Next time, I need you to work on using the correct end punctuation for each sentence. Be sure to say exactly what you mean. Do not use sarcasm with your students. Maturity, home language, and emotional factors can make sarcastic remarks seem shocking and hurtful, so your sincerity is important. Tone of voice. Even if students are unsure of the message of your words, most will understand the emotion relayed by your tone of voice and will respond to it. For that reason, it's essential to maintain a tone of voice that is neutral and direct. Occasionally, it may be necessary to adopt a tone of voice that is more stern, but be careful not to show anger. This may cause some students to shut down. Your tone of voice also includes volume. Varying the volume of your voice can increase engagement and draw attention. Try whispering instructions to calm students down after an exciting activity and see what happens. Body language. Teachers can sometimes be very animated in their facial expressions and gestures. This can increase student engagement and provide visual cues for students with language differences. However, it can also be confusing or even upsetting to sensitive students. You can show your personality and have fun teaching while also being mindful of your students' need for a calm demeanor. Another aspect of body language is personal space between you and individual students, especially when speaking to a student who is angry or upset. You want to be close enough to have a private conversation, but not so close as to be interpreted as intimidating. The goal in these situations is to help the student calm themselves. By balancing authority and rapport, you establish your role as the leader in your classroom. Your thoughtful consideration regarding word choice, tone of voice, and body language can make all the difference so that your students can learn and thrive.